Hey everybody, checking in with you this morning. Everything is good. It's just really hot and muggy. It's so hot out here. I have to take these papers and stuff to the middle school and high school and finish up all this registration for our kids to be able to take band <laughs> and attend a class at the, at the school. So uh, I got to run some errands this morning, so I'm off to do that first thing, but I wanted to check in on Milk and see how he's doing. Little Milk's face uh, has been getting better. Um, yesterday, I didn't show you, but the swelling had gone down quite a bit, so I just wanted to check on him today and make sure that the swelling continues to go down. Well, I'm going to have to show y'all him later because he, he saw me and he ran. He ran for me immediately. He thought I was going to give him some more of that nasty medicine. He has not forgiven me for the Benadryl, y'all. He's so mad at me. Every time I come out and he sees me, he thinks I've got the medicine and I'm going to come after him. I've only given it to him twice, but evidently it was such a horribly memorable experience that he just locked that in his head. And I don't know how long he's going to stay mad at me about it, y'all, but he, he saw me this morning and took off. He never does that. So I will not be able to show his face to you yet, but hopefully I can uh, calm him down. Maybe he'll forgive me later on. I can coax him with some treats or something, but let me grab the keys and get in the truck. I got to go. And I'm back just that fast. That was quick, huh? Only took two seconds. <laughs> no, but I just went to town and got back and I got me a strawberry lemonade from Sonic. Because this tastes good and it is hot. So now I have to water. Got to water everything I did in the flower bed with Wes. All the flowers we planted. Got to water that pumpkin that is starting to turn colors. Let me show you that. Oh, y'all see that? That makes my heart happy right there. It is starting to turn colors. I love it. It's going from green to orange. That's a good sign. But I also have to get my harvest basket out here and harvest some things. There are some things here ready to pick and harvest. Biscuit, what are you doing? Don't eat the grass. No, no, no. Chewing on my peach tree that I have to pick up real quick. It fell over in the storm last night. But there's a lot of things I have to harvest and I don't want to. And you know that when you're tired of harvesting things, when you're tired of getting that harvest basket out, you know that it's time for a change in the seasons right about then. <laughs> about time for the seasons to turn when you're officially sick of harvesting. Another thing I found that's turning all kinds of pretty colors is this little bell pepper. See that? If you leave the green ones alone, eventually they'll start turning those pretty colors. Eventually they'll get red. The sugars will concentrate in there and you'll have a sweet tasting bell pepper so see the green ones back there got some more green ones hanging on the fruit but i'm just gonna let them sit there until they turn colors because i want the sweet ones i did not tend to this tomato plant like i should have like i did the other one we tied that one up but i gotta definitely prune and tie up this one a lot better on this pole so i'm gonna handle that today and look at this still growing Still hanging in there, my sweet William. It's hotter than heck out here, but this little piece of mint and this sweet William is still determined to live in this basket. I thought for sure he'd be dead by now, but nope, hanging on to life. Now, I don't have to water much out here because, like I said, it did just rain yesterday. But I just want to make sure everything is good and watered in and saturated and has all the moisture it needs. Number one, because that sun is going to hit it hard today. But number two, because some things just got planted yesterday and their roots aren't established yet. And they need that moisture pretty consistently to get the root system going in the dirt. And Wes and I have determined that it is about time to pull out these um, zucchini and squash plants out of these little raised bed things, these arbor things that are holding in the trellis. Um, we've determined that it's time to pull those out because they seem to be taking away from the Peggy Martin rose more than they're giving to it, more than they're helping it. So the Peggy Martins are really fighting for that space in that room and the squash are about done. The squash and zucchini are done giving us all they're gonna give. So it's time for them to move on. So let's pull them out.
That looks a lot better. Much more room to breathe and grow. I think that's gonna actually help it a whole lot. Yeah, we'll see how they thrive now. My little tea roses are still doing great. They're not loving the hot summer heat, obviously. They would prefer the spring, but they're doing well considering it's summer. And all of these little tiny Thai basil plants I put in the four corners around the rows have gone to seed, they've gone to flower, and they just add to the beauty of the tea rose, I think. Tot, Tot, where's Tater? Oh, there's Tater. Come on, Tater. Sweet Tater Tot. Oh, my sweet turkey turkeys. I didn't bring the treat this morning, I know. You're looking at me like, where is it? Where's the treat? Oh, my sweet babies. Don't worry. I'll go get you a treat. I'll go get it. Yeah, I'll go get it. We've had an excess of watermelon lately, so I'm going to share, and I'm going to give this whole half a watermelon to our turkeys and chickens and geese. Here you go, babies. Here you go. Bon appetit. There you go, my loves. Well, the geese are slack, and they're going to miss out. Turkeys and chickens are going to get it all. Is it good? Is that good, my loves? Yeah, they love those seeds. They go right after the seeds. There's going to be nothing left of that half a watermelon when I get back. <laughs> Come on. Come on, goosey gooseys. Come on. Beep, 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 beep. Come get it before it's all gone. Come on. Oh, sweet turkey turkeys. Sweet chickens. Y'all have fun with that. I'll come check on you in a little bit. Yeah, I gave you your treat. I gave you your treat. I told you I'd be back with a treat. I told you. I told you. You're welcome. I scared the geese. Scared the trio. They were napping. They saw me coming and they jumped up and started water waddling. <laughs> I'm pretty certain from researching, I'm pretty sure that the mostly brown and light, I don't know, light brown, um, what they call it? I don't think it was olive, but it was a certain word that they used online. But the darker goose right there with the shorter neck, a little bit heavier, a little bit fatter. She's got a fatter undercarriage. She's a little wider than them. The one that doesn't stand as tall, doesn't have as long of a neck. I'm almost certain that that is our female. The other two, I'm pretty sure are males. I could be wrong, but they stand taller. They have no undercarriage. They have bigger feet. They have longer necks. They seem to gather around her and protect her. I'm pretty sure those two are males and we have one female, which is not, not ideal, but I'll take it. It's okay. They are beautiful. And then there were two standing on the wagon. Hey, pretties. Good morning. <laughs> Leah and Dancer. My little Leah right here, my spotted Leah, as y'all remember, she's my lovey that I actually had to hand deliver out of her mama. Dancer is the baby of Missy. Just as saucy and just as sassy as Missy is. <laughs> Very brave though. She's a good, strong leader. And Leah's just sweet. She has the sweet disposition of her mama, Amelia. And then baby Sprite, as y'all all know, baby Sprite has not changed a bit, little spunky woman. Our hay dealer is here. He has arrived. Yay, he gave us some more hay. We needed it. We needed another bale. I'm so happy to see it. Oh no, potato. You can't do this to me again, mamas. What you doing? No. Y'all, I tried to tell her that she can't sit on a nest yet, that she can't have babies yet, and she just, she's just stubborn. This little chicken. Oh my goodness. Mama. No, 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 no. Oh goodness. Look. Look how many eggs you have. Potato. Potato baby. Potato mama. 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 Nope. Mama, no, no, no. I'm so, honey, no, I'm sorry. I, I gotta take you away from it. No. I, I gotta take you, honey. You can't have them. No, we talked about this. Potato, potato, no. Mm. Woman, no. You are so stubborn. Those are not your babies. Yeah. Goodness. Y'all, I don't think I have the heart to take them from her. I know it sounds silly and crazy, but she wants to be a mama so bad, y'all. She's so bad. She is the most determined thing in the world. She's determined to be a mama. She's like guarding these eggs with her life. Every time I take her away, she's just going to run back to this nest and just beg for more eggs. I don't 
don't know. I'll talk to Wes about it. Maybe he'll be merciful and feel like just, just letting her hatch him out and get it out of her system and be a mama and let's just have some more chicks. Maybe he'll be okay with that. I don't know, but I'll talk to him about it because this poor little woman, she's determined and I can't lock her up forever. I mean, and she's just going to keep at it. She wants to be a mama so bad. Look at her. Goodness, mama. Potato. She's the sweetest chicken ever, y'all. She's got the greatest disposition. I know she would be a great mama. I know she would. Really good chicken. I love this chicken. All right, let me talk to Wes, see if I can smooth something over. You sit here, guard your eggs. Okay, y'all, here goes. I'm gonna try this for a potato. I'm gonna try this. Hey, honey. Yes, baby. Uh, would you come sit down with me for a second? Sure. I wanna. I want to. I want to talk to you for a second. Uh, okay. <laughs> Big family's gonna come with us. Uh. No pressure or anything. Just. I just want to talk to you. What are we talking about? Just a second. Can I have a seat? Okay. Mm that's right, biscuit. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. So you, you remember potato, the mm -hmm. I'm, the I'm a survivor chicken that's been out there. Yep. That um, yep. Yep. we tried to get her to hatch those duck eggs. I know it didn't go well, <laughs> but we tried our best. You know, um, remember how we thought? Oh, we'll just we'll just get her off the nest now that her eggs exploded underneath her. She's she's not gonna be mm -hmm. pretty anymore. Yep, right? which we, we thought, did. Oh, it was good. We thought it was over with. We yep. thought she wouldn't be pretty anymore. Uh -huh. Guess who's no. Every time I pull her off of it, she'll run right back to it. Every time she sees the egg, mm -mm. she will roll it all the honey, way to her honey, little nest no. and she will hoard it up. She desperately, desperately wants to be a mama. No, like I've honey, tried to no. talk her out of it. I've no. tried. It's it's not working. <laughs> honey, we really shouldn't. We don't need I, no more chickens, baby. And I, I know we shouldn't, but I was thinking, but I was thinking. And I know there's there's no need for any more bantams, but you said how we needed just a little <laughs> more laying hens, like full size mm -hmm. hens. We need a few more eggs every week. So what if we took the full size eggs that are fertilized by full size roosters? What if we took like four, four or five of those and put them up under potato? Mm -hmm. And like that's all we get. Three, three, three or four. Three or four, okay. We'll decide on a number. But what if we took a small handful <laughs> and what if we put it under potato and let her let her just hatch out some babies and get it out of her system and then mm -hmm. she'll and then she'll quit being birdie for the whole year. Because she only does it, you know, mm -hmm. well, our chickens notoriously have only done it like once a year. Mm -hmm. Like get it, let her get it out of her system. Because if you I don't, guess. if you don't, you know she's gonna go running back to that nest every time. And she's like starving herself. She's pulling on her feathers. She's like she's looking rough. She's like determined. Mm -hmm. She's very determined. You'll have to put a cage over there. Yeah, we already have a cage over there. Okay, yeah. well, you got a cage in I guess there. go ahead and do it. But yeah, yeah, you see only it? like three or four. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, you three see or it? four. Yeah. It's a yes. Mark the eggs so we know <laughs> to pull the other ones. <laughs> I'm happy for her, but you know who's going to be real happy to hear this? Mm. Potato. Mm. <laughs> Potato is going to be thrilled. Yep. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I, I love, love you, baby. I, kn I knew you'd come around. I, I love <laughs> you. And, and you, you adore me. So you, you give me the, the things that make me happy. Oh, wow. <laughs> we did it, guys. He said yes. He said yes. I'm going to go talk to Potato. And I'm going to tell her. And <laughs> she's going to be thrilled once we actually let her do it. She's going to be, like, super thrilled. Um, this has, like, been her mission in life for, like, the past solid, I think, six weeks she's been trying to hatch out eggs. Like, or maybe longer. It's, it's She's desperate at this point. So, we're going to go ahead and let her do it. Um, but I'm going to have to be very choosy about the eggs I put underneath her. So, I'm going to go pick. And, and I'm going to show them to her. And those are going to be the only ones. And I'll mark them. And we're going to have to collect all the others. But she won't mind. She's a really accommodating chicken. It's easy to like pick her up and look up under her. So that's a good thing. Hey, Avery. Yeah? Guess what? What? I got some good news. What is that? So you know how little Potato, little Madam Potato, has been dying to hatch out her own babies? Every day. Huh? Yeah. And um, <laughs> she was very desperate this morning. I took her off the nest. She ran back to him. Took her off the nest. She ran yeah. back to him. She, like, fought to get out of my arms to go back to the nest. Yeah. Um. So, I talked to Daddy about this. I told okay. I told her I would discuss it with Daddy. I did. And he said yes to hatching only a few. Only a few. He said, like, three or four. 
Okay. But maybe we could do five. <laughs> but he said they have to be full-size eggs fertilized okay. by full-size chickens. We're going to okay. slip them up under potato. <laughs> this is Kinsey, her cousin. Hey, say hey, Kinsey. Hi. Kinsey's going to be the accomplice. She's going to help I got you. chased into the mud by a turkey. <laughs> I'm not happy. Well, those happens. were my good shorts. It happens. That's farm life. That's farm life. <laughs> but Kinsey's going to be your accomplice, and she's going to okay. help you select the right eggs. And we have to mark them, right? We have to mark them. And we yeah. got to slip them up under Madam Potato, and you can tell her that she can have them. And hatch out babies. <laughs> That'll probably fix the problem. Too. Yeah, she, once well. she hatches them out, she'll get over it and she won't be brooding <laughs> yeah. anymore. Psst, little shadow, guess what? Potato can have babies now. We're gonna give her her own little chicken babies. Isn't that exciting? No, he's like, I don't care. Leave me alone. Oh, shadow baby. This is what he does most of the day in his little basket. That's why he's so frisky at night. He just sleeps all day in his beddy by basket. <laughs> Okay, you keep snoozing. All right. And guess where he learned those nap time habits from? From his mama. His adopted mama, Bing Bong. That's where he learned how to be so snoozy. Four to choose. We got the eggs. Uh, you chose? Four full-size eggs. Okay, those are pretty. Mm-hmm. I want this one for sure because it's a different color and it's, I like it. Like don't, you don't think we could sneak a fifth? Wait, there is none. Oh, so we got four full size, huh? Oh, we can okay. sneak a fifth later, though. Oh, okay. After they lay it. Oh, she snuggled it in. Okay. Yep, look. Yep. Well, yeah, you got like, um, she's only sat on these for today. So I think you yeah. have like 48 hours before they actually like set and start yeah. making a, chi look, look, a chicken. Ready? Ready? It's so satisfying. She just <laughs> takes it. Yeah, she watch just sucks her. it up. Yeah. Uh, so by tomorrow, she'll have all the eggs she's going to have and she'll start. I gotta you know, make sure it dries. Babies. Okay. Now, ready? And <laughs> it disappears. And then my She's like, that's lucky. Mine. I'm putting a lucky charm on it. I'm putting a lucky charm on that one. Okay. I hear you, big red. I hear you. If it's yeah, a, she's mad. If it's like a black okay. one or a black and white and one, I want it, it to goes. be named. I want it to be named Pepper. Oh, pepper. She's oh we about actually it. have yeah. a Mama Pepper. She's thinking already, about it. So oh, can I choose a different name because we have a Pepper. <laughs> there you go. Now it looks normal. There you go. Take it. What about Give Bell? Me. Give me a second. Oh, we don't have a Bell. Yeah, we don't have Bell. Come on. Oh, Take the lucky charm. Like that one? There you go. Take the lucky charm. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't know. I'll give her a minute. She'll think about it. I think she thinks that she has too many. <laughs> oh, those are big eggs, and, and these, she's a little chicken, but she can do it. These are the bantam. Oh, wait, we can sneak a bantam. Ooh, yeah, that's one little bantam. Okay, okay, okay which them? one? Can I see them? Yeah, I want to see them. The white one, oh I believe, gosh. is a Yokohama egg, right? Oh, <gasps> I would never hatched a Yokohama oh. before. This is a Yokohama egg. Is the other one a Yokohama egg? Yeah, this can we, one. Can we put yes, both? I want to put yeah, let's two. do both. Yeah, I'm sure Wes won't mind. Let's do both. I yeah, would be, he, he won't mind, right? I, I would be wearing my pink Crocs right now, but they got <laughs> muddy, first of all. And second of all, they attract the mean... Like, oh, he the sees turkey. the pink Crocs and the turkey's he like, said, oh, I'm going to get them. The turkey wants to kill me. Oh, yeah. I'll not kill you, but... I'm exaggerating. Yeah. I'm exaggerating. Stranger it. danger. He's like, I will defend my lady. But honor. it's not just a Yokohama. It's a Yokohama... And that guy right there, yeah. Puffin. Well, Bernard, the little bantam and Bernard, uh, yeah. rooster, I think he's, he's the right bantam. size. Well, he's smaller. He's a wine dot. He's, oh, well, he which, hasn't grown Which one is the, the bantam rooster? Bantam is Astro. Astro. Astro so, could possibly be. There's three possible Yeah. Dads. Oh, she liked that one. She took that one. Oh. I think okay. Astro is the one that's been breeding all the smaller hens, such as the Yokohamas. He does. He does a really good job. Yeah, I think he's been taking care of the younger, uh, the smaller ones. There you go. How do you like that one? She's Not like, so well, no, I see the X. She's like, no, no, something's wrong with that egg. <laughs> there you go. How about that? Yep. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's, okay. it's the there X. you go. She doesn't like the blue color. No, she doesn't. She's like, uh-uh. So wouldn't that be pretty to have a mix between the bantam rooster and the Yokohama hen? So she liked the yes. lucky charm. It was just because the X was showing. Right? Good job, guys. So we have lucky set charm. her nest of six total eggs so, so we'll find out in three weeks what we got in so here we are at the coop and avery just I had a really idea. really good idea okay so since frizzle obviously wants to have babies she has been going broody for a long time ever since those goslings grew oh, up oh frizzle mama yeah because goslings grow really fast so she didn't get to have much time raising them mm -hmm. And I told y'all she was going through withdrawals. Like, Mama Frizzle was not Frizzle happy. Is, yeah. Frizzle is the only one that I recognize because ba uh, before the move, the only ones that I really recognized mm -hmm. was this uh, chicken called Goldilocks who died while I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, 
nickel, which yep. was her yeah. favorite at nickel. one point, and nickel then got missing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, went missing while I was gone. And then Frizzle, who's yeah. still here. So yep. the, only, yeah. the only one that I really am used to is And Frizzle, Frizzle is our <laughs> last remaining original yeah. chick that we hatched out from the Cog Hill eggs when we first yes. got Cog Hill eggs. She's um, our original mama and Frizzle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take, since we have six eggs, we're going to take three and we're going to put them under Frizzle, want, and we're going to have three under potatoes, so they both get I to be mama. I want to baby yeah. Frizzles. I want to see baby Frizzles. Yeah. Well, if we can determine any Frizzle eggs, like if we can actually find yeah. her eggs. But I don't think she has laid in quite a while, because she has tried She's to, always broody. Right. She's always wanted to be a mama, so she doesn't lay a whole lot of eggs. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's a good idea to split three and three. Three under one hand, three under the other. Let's do that. That way, they'll both get it out of their system, so then when they both have babies, and they only have three babies to deal with each, and they'll... Go ahead and be a mama, and then they'll get over that broodiness, and then they'll hopefully go back to life as they knew it. Like in here? Yeah, in there. Yeah. Okay, start fluffing up the boxes for me, and then we're gonna give her. Here, we'll do this. Up. Yeah, there you go. All right, now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, put some so in. Oh, yeah. goodness. Come here. No. Frizzle. She is mad at y'all. Oh my goodness. We're fixing your, your little baby nest. There you go. Three oh. eggs. You get three Go eggs. on. There go you on. go. Okay. All day. Are you happy now? Yeah, she's taking them. Like, well, I guess I'll forgive you. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We'll let her settle in here. Well, this is not good. I walk outside and I find the turkeys digging in my flower bed. One of them's laying in my flower bed. Tater dot, we just planted in here. Honeys, come on. Can you give a give a woman a break? Nah, -uh, don't don't eat the flocks. Ah, psh, psh. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, move it. Move it. Shh, shh. Come on. Come on. Just move it. Move it on out. Yep. Shoo shoo. Go munch on something else. I love you, but no no. Okay, so Wes and Sarah are about to go to a play. They're yep. about to go see a local play, and I'm going to stay home with Avery mm -hmm. and Mackenzie and have fun with those little girls, and we're going to have a wonderful dinner because you yes. made chicken. Thank, uh -huh. thank you for making chicken. And we got a little potato that's going to hatch eggs in three mm. weeks. Mark your calendar, guys. Three weeks. We're going to have babies. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.